My name is Al Balak. I'm from Good Earth Natural Foods. We're a single independent natural food store in Fairfax. Um, I've come to this summit now, my second year in a row, and uh, I remember last year thinking about coming to you know, a sustainable food summit um, with the idea that uh, to be inspired that there's some hope for us all on this planet to uh, create sustainability around, I think, a very big impactful industry, which is food. Um, and I've been pleasantly surprised, and I really appreciate uh, this year's conference. The last couple of days has been great. Um, you know, I, th I think there's uh, my, the, the, the theme that I hear is that we're, we're all pretty small in the natural uh, arena, the natural food arena, and, and uh, lots of certification companies here that I appreciated hearing from. Um, you know, the traceability and the, really the, the, how difficult it is to, uh, to, to set up systems of authenticity for the consumer, right? So the consumer has an idea. And I've, I'm, um, I'm impressed that we're on the right road. It, it appears that we're on the right track. Um, I think the big issue, though, is that we're all pretty small. We're, we represent a very small part of the food industry and, and that the uh, real enemy, um, I was just talking to somebody here a minute ago about the enemy really being big food and big ag and, and big chemical. Um, and uh, there's an effort there, whether it's uh, they're all in the same bed or not, I don't know. But they're the, what I'm left with thinking is that uh, they have a, a, the ability to communicate at a, a very sophisticated level and uh, really thwart the organic and natural food industry and the consumer really trying to um, figure a lot out or, or make figure enough out to actually cause behavioral change or, or shop differently or shop more righteously, if you will. Um, and so big is not good um, is, the, is one of the things that I've gotten out of this conference and, and the fact that I've, I've, I've gotten that because we're all so small and we're trying real hard. Um, you know, my store is uh, our store. I'm a partner. Um, is a very dynamic place. Uh, we've got you know, a very busy place and, and a great following. And I listen every day to people appreciate what we do. And what we do is really care about people and the planet. And, and of course, we need to produce a profit um, in doing so. And, and uh, that comes through to the customer. And it really, um, I think they appreciate the realness there, the integrity they have that they, they witness and see from our store every day. And it's, you know, and there's no magic formula for it other than just really caring about the people that, uh, that work for us and, and the customers that shop for us and, and the planet in general. Mm -hmm. I think this summit uh, brings together kind of a wide variety of people. Um, you know, I do go to conferences and, and trade shows and, and so I, I get to see a lot uh, a, a, a different groups, large groups of people coming together and, and I think this summit is uh, unique in that w what it pulls and, and uh, you know it's all over the world is represented clearly here on um, these last two days and I think that um, you know combining a bunch of people from a bunch of different uh, areas of food or arenas of food, industries that are around food um, is very wise because um, I think it's it's a very complicated uh, global food system that has to change uh, in order for our own survival and the planet survival and and so bringing folks together here from a lot of different backgrounds in one room for a couple of days is pretty cool it's pretty unique yeah I don't think um, in fact I, I came here by myself one day last year and then I booked myself here for two days this year and I booked my partner yesterday for, for one day, and I think next year we'll bring a team of people to experience.